guys and welcome back to my channel this is my 55 gallon that I'm about to do an update on for you guys and it might be a little bit long but bear with me because there's a lot to talk about and first off I want to talk about this now this is not any this is a hygro hygro filler um, one of the high girls I there's so many in there's so many different types in here I'm not too sure what it is anymore but it is growing roots out of it but I can move them it's not gonna fall off it is growing roots out of it which is crazy it's still trying to survive so when you you know throw those plants on the toilet or you know you're siphoning out your plants and they get in the drainage system uh, you're messing up no matter what plant it is possibility it's possible that it might grow a root that's crazy though I just leave them in there and see what happens but that that's crazy I don't you know take them out my fish eat them especially that guy he ran because he knew I was about to point at him but let's get this over with so new uh, in this tank is Bruce Philandra which is not where I want it to be, but you know, it is fine right there, I guess. I just gotta push it in, that way the fish don't dig it up. But it seems to be doing okay. It, I just got it, so there's no new growth, but the high growth is growing good. Uh, right there, it got new, some new growth, and right there, and right there. And then from the top, it got new growth too. The clown barbs are nipping at them. But not to the point where I want to like take them out and be like, oh no, this isn't happening. They was in this tank before I got the plants, and they're going to be in here for a good while after I get the plants. As long as I heavily plant it, I do believe it'll outgrow as much as they can eat, hopefully. Uh, just keep adding plants, that way they'll, you know, don't specifically nip at one plant at uh, one plant in total. Uh, they don't mess with the wisteria. The wisteria is over here. I know they can get over here because they dug up this before. They don't really eat this plant, but they'll dig around around it and it'll get dug up. Now, that plant is supposed to be red and it is not red in this tank. It was red outside, but of course that's outside. So I do want to add a new light with uh, different light spectrums, add another light to this, and then hopefully, it, you know. It'll get red, get my reds that I want, uh, because I wasn't dosing anything while I was outside. It was just out there, just in water, and it was red. So, I'm guessing it's a low tech red. I don't have to add any of that CO2 or you know extra ferts or whatever. But the wisteria is doing fine. Uh, I got little two little pieces over here. Hopefully, it grows this way. I want it to grow this way, like like up the rock. But if not, it's fine. I uh, got the <clears throat> Anubius right there. It is kind of growing in a little piece, but you know, it's taking some time. You know, it's a slow grower. And then I got these Java ferns just to cover, just to shade the buse and then, you know, Anubius. This one right there and one right there. And that's just to shade it. And hopefully it grows. As it, it is growing from the top, like little babies are coming off, but I'm not getting any growth from the bottom on this one. Or that one. Babies are coming off of that one and this one. But this one, there's no babies coming from the leaves. But from the stem, there's like leaves growing up. But it's on the other side of the rock so you can't see it. And I don't feel like going in there and pulling it out. Because then, uh, too much work. Let's just say that. Um, these plants are doing excellent. They are growing. Those were red too, so... You know, thinking about getting the light because I do want red plants in here to you know add more color to this tank. Get down. Uh, you see at the bottom is like a little red oranges, but it is growing tall. It is it's doing good in this tank. Uh, might want to clip them once they get tall enough, and then I'm you know replant them and do all that. Uh, got some little stems back there just to see what happens with them this is the Ligwigia pile of plants and then that's the hygro all that is hygro right there different types different types hygrophilic corymbosa hygrophilic 
uh, Middle East, uh, thin, something like that. And then I got Hygrophila Blue, you know, whatever that is. But it's in there. And then I got the Crip Red, which is not red. It is growing green right now, but hopefully the new growth get, gets red. Uh, if not, then I will have to, you know, do the light. Uh, do got the carpet plant, the Star Jane Reppins, which is growing like little plant leaves off the side. So it is trying to carpet, but the top is, you know, getting munched away. Which is fine with me because they're, you know, keeping it short. See? Don't have to do any work if the fish do it for me. So, kind of a win-win with that plant. they keeping it low for me. Um, what else? Oh, the bulbs. The bulb, uh, what are they? Lily bulbs are doing okay. They're not growing tall, which is kind of you know, bugging me that it's not growing at all, and you know, but I'm sure once it, you know, sprouts out and it's like, oh, I'm growing leaves, let me try and reach higher, oh, I can reach higher, let's try and keep going, and then it's going to try and reach the top, I'm not going to allow that to happen, I don't want it to reach the top of the tank, I want it to stay bushy at the bottom, so, just not that low as it is right now, so, you know, hopefully it does Grow up to the top, uh, maybe the light, the new light that I might get uh, will do that for it. Um, other than that, not too much of an update other than a oh, uh, canister filter. I do have a canister filter. It goes in over there, and then it comes out over here. Now, uh, if you guys can give me any suggestions, if it's okay right there, or should it be above water? I've seen them below water and above water, but... You know, my preference is below water, I ain't got to hear it, and then it, like, creates, like, a little current, but I got a wave maker for the current, so I ain't worried about that. And then the hang on the backs, after two or three weeks, those are coming off. Those are coming off one at a time, just to see, make sure nothing, you know, like, freaks out and don't mess up any anything in my tank. Hopefully, you know, don't mess up anything and crash my tank that would suck so much uh but you know these are going to be coming off slowly um the avocado bulb is like gone i mean it is you know still up there it ain't like dead dead but i don't know uh that plant is going good that plant is doing good so um what i m might do with the plants once i take the hang on the backs off is leave the plants in the tank, but I'm gonna leave them hanging in the tank, like you know, cut the roots because that that's like in there, that's in there. So I'm gonna have to reach in there with some scissors, chop chop, take it out, and same for this one, and then just you know, have it on the back, just have it on the back and let it you know do what it does because it's by the window, so you know, it'll grow towards the window and. It helps absorb nutrients, so once I put it in the tank, it'll help get it out the water column. Because I, I feed a lot. I'm not going to lie. I feed my fish every day a lot. So that's why, I'm, that's why I have like these plants in the back to help get all that excess nutrients out. And then I'm adding plants, adding plants, adding plants. I'm adding more plants than I am fish. If you see, there's an, I don't have that many fish in this tank. But I do have, like, where I'm adding plants. I'm constantly trying to add plants. I'm trying to get back to where I was. The uh, only thing different about now than it was then is I can't really grow that plant anymore. It's not growing like it used to. So I'm pretty sure it's the lighting because that plant used to take off, remember? I had like a whole bunch of it in the back. I had a whole bunch of it in the back. So once I get the new light, I'm gonna have it right here. So it's blocking the heater. It's already right there. So I'm gonna just, you know, have it right there blocking the heater, blocking the heater. And then it'll block the intake too for the canister filter. So once that happens, I'm not gonna say I'm done because I'm probably adding more stuff, but yep, I'm gonna add shrimp, a mono shrimp, 
Neo Caradinas, red, blues, any I can find. Mostly yellows. I want yellows for sure. <coughs> Drop them over here. That way they can find their hiding spots. That's pretty much it for this tank. Uh, it's a lot. Not too sure if I even, you know, covered it all. If you have any 